all the prisoners here at the Dade Correctional Facility. You're in our thoughts and prayers. Some of you are rightly convicted and behind bars for horrendous crimes. Others of you are maybe falsely convicted. And so, either way, guilty or not guilty, we're all guilty of sin. And we all need Jesus Christ for grace, mercy, and salvation. So I want to invite any of you there who have not yet accepted Christ as your Savior to do so today and be baptized in the Spirit. In order to become a Christian, you need to confess your sins and say to Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins. Thank you for dying to save me. I welcome you into my heart and commit my life to you. If you can say that, then I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and you are now a Christian. Congratulations. It's a great day. This is your birthday. Christian birthday. And so, now that you're a Christian, uh, you can be assured that you'll be going to heaven when you die, as long as you keep the faith and hopefully keep growing in Christ. It's not just something static, but it's something that, that continues to evolve as you continue to learn more uh, about from the Bible and also just from your relationship personally with Jesus Christ and your, your, through your prayers and worship, and fellowship, etc. So, uh, keep it going. Keep it going. Don't never turn back, never look back. You just made the biggest, most important decision of your life. And you'll be in heaven with all the angels and saints, and uh, all your brothers and sisters in Christ, and the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's our God, one God, three persons. That's called the Trinity. And you also have your family and friends will be there, if... They're Christian when they die. So if you have living friends and family who have not accepted Christ, now is the time to invite them to do so. And you can baptize them also. Now that you're a Christian, you have that authority to baptize in water or spirit or both. Don't be afraid. It's not a... Uh, you don't need any special training. You just say the words and God does the rest. All right, so I got a lot more to tell you, but not enough time or space. So make sure you read uh, the box below for more information. And uh, if you have any questions or for a free Bible, I'll send you a free Bible. God be with you and bless you. I'll, pre I'll be praying for you. Lord, we pray for any of the Christ uh, new Christians in the Dade Correctional Facility. Be with them, guide them, lead them, fill them with the love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, all the fruit of the Spirit, so that they may serve you with all their heart, mind, strength, and soul, and also to have the courage to tell others about you, to tell the gospel, the good news of you, Jesus Christ our Savior, everywhere they go. Pray this in your name, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.